Okay, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. All right, so Derek here uh, had this article yesterday about South Korea announces 17 billion stimulus. Okay, and uh, I saw the video, I saw the article yesterday. I wanted to do a video on it yesterday, but I said, you know what, let me just keep it for today for Eyes Open Media. So that's what I did. So here we go. Let's take a look at it. Now, South Korea and Indonesia, we need more prayer on. So you prayer warriors need to be praying about South Korea, uh, Juan and the Indonesian Rupaya. We need more prayer on these two currencies. We, do, we don't know what's going to happen with them. We believe that they're going to see change in value. This is why they're part, they're playing part of the game. Okay, they're, they're part of this this uh, thing people are calling a reset, right? So we know that we, we believe that South Korea and Indonesia are going to do something. We don't just we just don't know yet. Okay, uh, we don't know the time frame. We don't know anything. It might be after the activation of Chinese yuan. It might be before that. I don't. We don't know. Okay. So, uh, so we need more people praying about South Korea and and uh, Indonesia and what the Lord and and see what the Lord is showing you guys about China, uh, South Korean yuan and, and Indonesia. If he's showing nothing. Then let me know. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, shout out to Derek for sending this article yesterday. It was a good one. Uh, okay, so South Korea announces 17 billion stimulus. Okay, so they're going to be rolling out this package for the country uh, because of uncertainties and risk uh, uh, arising out of the um, BRICS X vote. Now, remember that. Bricks, the Brick X could, uh, they could have another vote. You know, we don't know if they're going to, the UK is going to be voting a, a second time because they have enough petitions to re-vote. So we'll see if that, if they even do that or not. Okay. We don't know if that's going to happen or not. Okay. So we just got to continue to watch and see if they actually re-vote and actually say, hey, you know what, we're staying this time. So we don't know. Okay, so but for South Korea, they're uh, you know they're preparing themselves just like other countries are. They're preparing themselves because the Western world is is basically coming going under. Okay, so they have to. So South Korea, Indonesia have to prepare themselves for that. And one of the best ways to prepare yourself for this stuff is to do economic reforms, 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 reforms. You know what I mean? Do reforms. Stimulation is okay. Uh, you know, uh, you know, quantitative easing is really not okay. But if you're country but it, you know, it, I, I guess it's okay if you have a a, a, a current a, a, a country that you're trying to bring back up. Okay, now if you already if your country is already strong like America, there's no reason why you're doing uh, you're doing quantitative easing you, you know, unless you're trying to bring the country down. Okay, so uh, uh, South Korea is trying to bring the country up by stimulating it. Okay, and also we need to see them raise their value. Okay, so uh, their value is is very cheap. Uh, compared to what they really actually do okay so they're also cheating as well so the stimulation and then raising of value uh for their currency should be uh top priority uh to um make sure that they're ready to go before the western world uh starts to collapse here which has already has started okay um Okay, so it says the government made the decision in concentration that worries uh, are growing over the possible uh, contraction of growth and employment in the second half due to the brick X and the ongoing corporate rec uh, reconstruction. Okay, so it says that uh, South Korea plans to stimul uh, a stimulus package of over 20 trillion won, which is about $17, $17 billion. Um, which will include an extra uh, budget of 10 trillion won uh, to address unemployment and cooperate and cooperate uh, reconstructing issues. OK, so once again, they're trying to uh, create jobs. They're trying to stimulate the just same thing what Iraq is doing, right? Iraq's doing uh, what? Six point five uh, trillion dinars. OK, so I so I. Uh, so South Korea won is doing 20 trillion won uh, and Iraq's doing 6.5 trillion dinars. OK, so like you said before, everybody that is in the emerging markets that we're looking at are doing almost the exact same thing. OK, uh, so that's a good sign that South Korea wants to raise their value as well in the near future. OK, so. Uh, it's pretty good. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there. 
Um, there are also things as dwindling economic activity and things like that. So they have to stimulate their country. Their country is dwindling a little bit here, and it shouldn't be. Uh, South Korea should be a place where, you know, it's not North Korea. So, you know what I mean? So it should be a place where people are visiting. People are, it should be thriving. It should be. So they're going to try to get this thing and ride the ship back to normal and get this thing thriving again. And also, one of the things that can help is, uh, you know, uh, the stimulus here, create more jobs uh open themselves up to the global market more and raise the value of their currency okay so i think they're going to be doing all of that and hopefully in, here in the next six months we see all of that manifest for south korea and uh you know and you know, I, there was a prophecy about south korea that um that i think uh i'm not sure what it was but was it was it something I, I know you guys follow prophet of solomon so i'm trying to think was it when south korea was going to uh uh somebody was going to team up with south korea and, they, and and no south korea and north korea will finally once all the evil regimes leave from north korea south korea and north korea will finally become one and have harmony uh i think that's what it was i don't know okay but before we can see all that we need south korea to be strong we needed to stimulate we needed to create jobs we need to, them to have a strong uh currency so and then we can see them uh you know uh I guess come in harmony with North Korea once after Kim Jong Young and the other guys uh, pass away, <laughs> okay? Because that's what it's gonna take for for them two to actually come together, okay, and become one, okay? So that's it for me. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. Eyes open.